Hello, good people, and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. We continue with our series on how to analyze data with Q functions. In our earlier video, I showed you the advantages you have using Q functions to analyze data over pivot tables. They offer more flexibility in terms of laying out your results. You can also use Q functions to reference many tables or data sources in your data model, all through simple calculations. In this series, we've taken up the challenge. We are building a full sales dashboard using just Q functions, no pivot tables. We want to do this with you in this series. And in this first episode, we want to walk you through the architecture of that dashboard. And then in subsequent videos, we'll go through it and build it step by step. So if you are game, join me and let's go through the dashboard in a few minutes. So this is our dark mode sales dashboard that shows us revenue, cost, profits, and profit margin. We've also put in this API target where we've set a profit margin of 25%. So based on whatever slicer you select here, you will know whether the product or segment or location is able to meet that KPI target. Then we are analyzing profit by location or region. So this is our Ghana map, the old version, and we are able to plot our various location and then see our profit. Of course, this is interactive, so you can slice by any of these. And then we also have a visualization that shows us our revenue cost and profit margin trend. Then we analyze our product subcategories by revenue, cost and profit margin. And for each of these subcategories, we also have a KPI showing whether they met that 25% KPI target. Of course, these are interactive. So we have a timeline here. You can slice by delivery mode. Okay. You can also slice by any of these segments here. But one good thing about this dashboard is you can use it for decision making. So in this series, we are going to show you how to build this discount simulator. The basic idea is you want to see the impact of the discount on the discount that you offer to your customers on your bottom line. So you have a view when you offer a discount and then you have a view when you don't offer discounts. And of course, if you choose the discount option, you can again slice it by any of these modes or slices to see whether you are able to make profit or hit your bottom line. So let's walk through the raw data. So it's just basic data with sales. We have the order ID, delivery date, customer ID, city, unit cost, quantity selling price, and our discount column. Okay, this is the fact table. This is where the transactions are recorded. Then we have our lookup or dimension tables in another worksheet. So we have our customer details here. We have our location details here. We have our product details here. And then we have our selector, which is discount or no discount. Then we are going to take this right from a blank sheet and then create all these calculations using six Q functions out of the seven. So here we are going to use Q values to calculate our revenue, our cost, our profit, our profit margin, and then we use cube sets and cube set counts to create all the labels that we are going to use in our calculations. So instead of using pivot tables, a combination of cube sets and cube set counts can spell every label that you want to use in your calculation. Then when we are done, we'll come in here and lay out our various tables for our calculations. So here we use the cube rank member to spell out and then we use that to calculate using cube members, revenue cost and profit margin. And then once you are done, we use the same method to calculate our revenue cost and profit margin and calculate our cube API member from scratch. So that it shows us which categories or which subcategories are meeting targets. And then finally, we'll create our location dashboard using the map and we'll do a little back-end calculation and then we'll end up with this interactive 
dashboard that shows us how much we are earning per category, per product, per location. So if you are game, we are going to do this over a series of videos, very short videos. We'll make the workbook available after every video. You can go to our YouTube channel, download it, and then we'll take you through this step by step. At the end of the series, the goal is that you will be armed with another way to analyze data, a more flexible way, hopefully, so that if you are using any kind of data in Excel, you can either use pivot tables or you can use Q functions and then get insights from your data. So join us in subsequent series. Um, I'll make the workbook available now in our YouTube channel and go and download. Then our subsequent videos, we'll walk through this together. Thanks for joining us.